Hi, welcome back. Okay, so this is the PSLE Math 2022 uh, pattern grouping method question that uh, came out in the exams. Right, so let's talk about the keywords. It says that letters A, B, and C, okay, it says here letters A, B, and C formed a pattern as shown below. So this is the pattern. And there are 137 A's. What is the greatest possible number of letters in this pattern? Now, a very important thing to look at when you come to pattern questions is to be able to break them up into equal, equal groups or equal sets, depending on how you want to say it. So you have to look very carefully. I can see here that I have A, B, A, C, A, and then all of a sudden it repeats to form an A. So I'm guessing that it should be A, B, A, C, A. Now to check it, I have to make sure that my next group is also the same, A, B, A, C, A, A, B, A, C, A, and so on. And as a result, I will then write it out like this. So this was not originally in the question. I'm just writing this for explanation. Okay. So as you can see now, I clearly am able to form groups of five. Okay. Where each group is made up of A, B, A, C, A. Okay, I'm going to try to make this clearer for you. So A, B, A, C, A, A, B, A, C, A, A, B, A, C, A, and each of this represents one group. I think I'll change it to coloring. It's even, even better for you to see. So this will form one group. This will form a second group, which is the same, of course, and then another group and so on and so forth. Therefore. I now know every group has got five letters. Okay, that's the word they use here, letters. You can see that over here. So if one group has got five letters, then I need to know how many such groups are there in this entire sequence, and I can I will stop as soon as I have 137 A's. Now, how many A's are there in each group? Well, this is what happens in each group. I know that one group has got five letters. So let me rewrite that. One group is made up of five letters. I also know that one group has got one, two, three A's. So I'm just going to write that out for clarity of mind. There are three A's. And since the question limits me to a total of 137 A's, then I need to know how many groups I can form if I have three A's in one group. So now I'm going to take 137. And I'm going to divide this by three. Now you can do this on your own and you will see that you will get 45 with a remainder of two. So what is the 45 and what is the two? Well, the 45 that you're getting is the number of groups. And two is two remaining A's, okay? Two more A's, right? So if I know I have 45 groups and I know that one group is made up of five letters, then I can sort of get an idea how many letters there are in this question. So since one group has got five, then 45 groups will have 45 times 5, because one group has got 5 letters. And this will give me a total of 225 letters. However, this doesn't end the question, because now I know that I have an extra 2 A's. So these 2 A's, if you want to put it at the back, just for visualization, this would be A, B, 
a c a so if this was group one then this would be group 45 okay and up to this point from here to here i would have a total of 225 letters for this red arrow okay now this is obviously something just to make it clearer for you so this is 225 letters but it doesn't end here because i need to continue writing in such a way that i can write another two a's so let's write it behind i have another a b a c a but if I were to write this, then I would have more than two A's. Since I can only have two A's, then I can have this. I can have this, but I cannot include this. If I do that, I would use exactly 137 A's. Okay, so this is actually 136 A, the 137th A. And that means I need to stop here. As you can see, I now have an additional four, of four letters here. And this four letters is not part of the 45 groups. Okay, so this is group 45. So in group 46, it is an incomplete group with four letters. And so now all I have to do is take two to five, and add to another four letters. These are all letters. And that gives me a total of 229 letters. And that answers the question, what is the greatest possible number of letters? 229. Were the explanations clear for you? If you have any questions, remember to leave it in the comments and I will answer them. If you have found this useful, please share it with your friends. But most important, remember to subscribe as this channel was made to help parents in their journey. I would appreciate that a lot. If you want the worksheet, look in the description below in my Telegram group, join it, and you will find the worksheet there. I will see you again.